um, I'm just going to do uh, the midpoint of a line. It's the same section. And again, we did this last year, so it's a nice easy one to start with. Uh, very simple. If you're asked to find the middle of a line, sometimes you'll be able to see it really clearly. Um, but sometimes you'll need to use the formula. Okay, so the formula is here. Again, it's on page um, 18 in our maths tables. There it is. Okay, so you don't have to remember it. And all it means is you add the two x's together and divide by two, add the two y's together, divide by two. And that's all it is. All right, so we always start off these questions again by labeling our things. So we've got two examples here x1, y1, x2, y2. And I might as well do this while I'm here x1, y1 x2 y2 and it's important to label them so you don't get confused yourself don't make mistakes i make mistakes so okay so the formula for midpoint is equal to you've got it here again it's x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2 and it's going to give you a coordinate so you're going to need an x and a y coordinate okay so in this case my x1 is minus 1 and my x2 is 5, add them together, divide by 2, and it's y1 is 3 plus y2 is 7 over 2. So you end with, with 4 over 2 and 10 over 2, so that simplifies down, I'll just put them, keep them in brackets, uh, 2, 5. So the midpoint of this line is 2, 5. Now I think most people would have been able to see that, that the middle of minus 1 and 5 is 2 and the middle of three and seven is five. But again, it's, it's when you get to decimal places or negative numbers, um, it's, it's really advised to use the formula. So again, we're gonna use the same formula. So I'll write every question, you should write it out. X1 plus X2, and especially in the exam, always write out the formula that you're using. Okay, same formula, again, just to give you a coordinate. So in this case, X1 is six plus um, minus nine all over 2 and then we have y1 is 3 plus y2 is 8 over 2 so in this case 6 pretty much take away 9 is minus 3 over 2 and 3 plus 8 is 11 over 2 okay and you can leave it like that you can leave it as a fraction or you could have put them in minus one and a half or five and a half um, but again, usually leaving that as a fraction is fine. So here, obviously, it would have been a lot harder to pick out that the middle of 3 and 8 is 11 over 2. All right. So um, if you take down those two examples, obviously take down the formula, and then I'll give you some questions. And if you have any questions, just reply to the assignment. Otherwise, um, we'll move on, start moving on to the more difficult stuff um, tomorrow.